This afternoon we are visiting St Kilda, remote islands off the western shore of Scotland. Very difficult to get to normally, but the weather has cooperated. We could get ashore in the zodiacs and it's fantastic. <laughs> what a privilege it is to come to somewhere like St Kilda. Not many people can come here and it's not a spooky place actually, it's a very beautiful place. This is one of the black houses that the inhabitants of St Kilda lived in for centuries. Very good dwelling for them. It's got a gable end with no windows in it. It's back to the Atlantic gales. But this was quite a cosy dwelling for the St Kildans. Then in 1860, the Kildans had ocean views. The laird, Lord MacLeod of Dunvegan on the Isle of Skye, built a row of cottages with great big sash windows, lovely views of the ocean, terribly uncomfortable. They were drafty, they were cold, and they were damp. They didn't realize that the winds were very fierce here and the roofs blew off. So as a result, then they had to come along and work out a technique of keeping the roof on. And this obviously is their solution. <laughs> The last two generations were difficult for the people of St Kilda. They'd begun to make contact with the outside world. Cruise ships started to visit. They went from being a, a subsistence economy to a money economy. With the money, they were buying tinned food. They didn't have to hunt in the usual way and for, for seabirds. They started accepting money to have their photos taken. People heard about the outside world. There was a little group of St Kilda's who emigrated to Australia for a better life and that weakened the community. By 1930, after an influenza epidemic with an elderly population and a declining population, they simply asked the government if they could evacuate the island and that's what happened. <laughs> 